Let's take a look at how we can create a Vertex AI conversation app on Google Cloud. Here I am in the Gen App Builder console and I'll click on create a new app. Here I have the option to create a search app, which is an out of the box enterprise search application powered by generative AI. Then we have the option to create a chat app, which is a chatbot that is powered by generative AI. And we have the option to create a content recommendation engine. So let's go with the chat option here. The first thing we need to provide is the company name and a name for the agent. Then we need to create a data store. The data store will contain the data that the chatbot will use to ground the responses on. This could be a website, in which case you need to prove ownership of the domain. This could be BigQuery if you have structured data in your data warehouse. It could be cloud storage, in which case a number of supported unstructured data formats can be used, or you can manually import data with API integrations. There are a number of connectors also that will be coming up soon. Let's go with the website example. Here you can include websites that you wish to include in your index, in your data store, and you can use wildcard character to specify that you want all the URLs behind this address. You could optionally also exclude certain pages, but I'm not gonna do that for this demo. Then you give the data store a name and then click on create. Now, I already created this data store before, so I'm actually not gonna go through with this. I'll just select the existing data store with that exact configuration. And just like that, I have my Generative AI powered chatbot that can answer questions based on the Google Shop website. I can click on preview to start testing my chatbot. And this will take me to the Dialogflow console, which is the underlying platform that these chatbots are being built on. You don't need to be a Dialogflow expert to use conversation AI, and you do not need to have any chatbot development skills but you can also use Dialogflow, which is a powerful platform for chatbot development to do things like customize your chatbot with advanced transactions and deterministic intent-based flows. And you can already today also configure the generative AI model. So for example, if I go over here to agent settings, ML generative AI, I can choose to change the template used as the generative prompt to the model. For example, if I select this provided example here and click on edit, I'm able to modify the prompt that is given to the model. The example prompt here is a very basic one that instructs the model to act as a friendly AI assistant, gather the context from the conversation so far, and answer the last question. Let's include one instruction here to say, if the user ends the conversation, for example, by saying bye or thanks bye, then summarize the conversation in a few concise sentences. Let's call that my template and save it. I'll save this. And I can click on test agent and I can start asking questions. Now I'm not really seeing the citations here because this is giving me the API responses it's not a very elaborate UI, but if you click on publish, you have the option to generate a code snippet for a pop-out or a side panel chatbot UI with unauthenticated API and authorized API options, and with the option of restricting domain access as well. I have also already done this previously, so I'll just navigate over to the website that I created and in which I embedded this chatbot UI from Dialogflow. 
I'll ask the same questions here. As you can see, it's giving me the answers and also the citations to the specific web page where this answer can be found. Now let's say our conversation ending phrase, which by the way, doesn't necessarily need, need to be this one. And here I have my summary, just like we instructed the model to do with our prompt. So this is an example of what you can achieve very quickly and easily with Vertex AI Conversation.